Hello Scorpio, welcome back. This is your general love reading for Gemini season, so it will not be for every Scorpio watching, but if it is your story, I do hope you comment below. If not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind as time, energy, and gender are fluid, and you can reverse roles however they apply to your story. But as always, please like this video video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So to my sexy Scorpio subscribers out there, I love you guys and really appreciate your love and support. Thank you to those of you who have made donations and or purchased private readings. If you are a new subscriber, be sure to drop down the description box below for all of my social media links and ways to connect with me outside of YouTube. Um, my website and payment app information is also down there for those of you who would like to purchase a private reading and my my members only area link is down there as well for those of you who enjoy your readings extra spicy. So before we get into the reading, as I mentioned, it is Gemini season and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. So in this reading, we'll be looking into the energy of your person of interest and finding out what are they thinking and what they want to say to you. So keep in mind for some of you, this reading might be more about what's going on in your own mind and that's totally okay just take what applies and let the rest fly and most importantly never force a reading to fit okay so let us see what is inside of the heavenly bodies oracle for the sign of scorpio please what does spirit want us to see in regards to the overall energy or climate of this connection first of all this one flipped all the way over and I have one on the floor, which is Saturn. So let's talk about Saturn, shall we? We know that Saturn is in retrograde right now. We know that those individuals who have been doing the work are going to experience good karma all throughout the summer months through October. Now, if you are out there and you're one of those who haven't been doing the work, who've been sweeping things under the rug, who've been avoiding the, the more important lessons, then unfortunately, Saturn is here to literally drag you, Scorpio. Okay, so again, this could be about you. This could be about your person. Only you know the work that you've done. Only you know the steps that you're at and where you are in your life, right? Everyone's circumstance is going to be different. Now, in all of the Zodiac readings, this card has been popping up. Okay, but this is one of the few times it's popped up in the upright. So the key words here are feeling restricted, experiencing struggle, learning hard work, and patience. And again, Saturn is Father Time. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. So if you're doing the spiritual work, then you're going to be good to go. If not, then you're going to be one of these that are experiencing these feelings of restriction, struggle, and having to be patient needing to get caught up on your responsibilities and your life lessons, okay? So again, we're looking into the overall climate of the connection. This could be a mutual energy. If you and your person have both been avoiding the lessons, then expect to have a parallel energy, a mutual energy between the two of you that is um, sort of an opposition, okay? So, or again, struggle, but we have Mercury, we have the Moon, and we have Fixed Energy, which is, again, you. So we've got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarian Energy here. Um, those could be very prominent placements in your own chart or in your person's, but Fixed Energy is about stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. And... This, I don't know if they meant to spell it this way, but loyalty, is that even a word? I think they meant to say loyalty, but that's just me. So anyways, fixed energy popping through. This could be talking also about, you know, obviously we see stability and persistence, but another way to say that is being stubborn, Scorpio. So if there's a stubborn energy that you're holding on to or your person's holding on to, it could have to do with financial um, situations, right? Um, but overall, I do feel as if below the surface, that the two of you are loyal to one another, regardless of what you're projecting into the physical, OK? 
okay? So with the energy of Mercury and the moon, obviously Mercury representing communication, thinking, learning, networking, and the moon representing satisfying emotional needs, nurturing self and others. So when I see these two cards together, I just kind of feel like this person and you need to communicate how you feel, okay? That could be exactly what is going on under the surface. This could be happening during Gemini season where the two of you feel that urge so deep that you just have to connect. You have to transform this. You have to communicate about what it is that you truly want satisfying emotional needs okay so if this is the person that you know that you're feeling connected to that you know that your emotions are for this person then again I feel that it is a mutual energy but ultimately it's not going to go anywhere until the two of you can transform and come out of your lessons come out of the struggle the adversity Okay, um, so again, this is one of those situations where if you're just sitting around in a struggle and you're hoping that this other person that you're connecting with is going to get out of their struggle, how do you expect them to get out of their struggle if you can't make it out of your own struggle? Okay, it's like that whole as within, so without. If you're going through something internally, it's going to manifest into your physical environment and that is what you're going to end up attracting. Okay, so Think about the law of attraction here. What is it that you're wanting to call in? Are you wanting to call in someone who's authentic, who's going to share their emotions, who isn't going to hide from you or be stubborn? Well, then Scorpio, you might have to look in the mirror and make sure that you yourself are not exhibiting those sort of traits, okay? That you yourself are being open and authentic and doing whatever it takes to complete these lessons, Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have cardinal energy. So um, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. So in this person's hand, they're holding a match, which to me symbolizes the Ace of Wands. Okay, although a very small Ace of Wands, it's the light in the dark okay it's that striking of the match in a dark room there needs to be some sort of new passionate beginning here there needs to be someone that takes initiative okay and I think that this instigatory energy that's kind of looming in the background here is simply a reminder that no matter what right no matter how hard you or this person try to hide your feelings the flame is never gonna go out okay cardinal energy is also a leadership role so this could be simply saying Scorpio it might be time for you to take the lead here by fixing your own situation okay so also under that we have Aquarian energy originality philanthropy and progressive imaginings so Aquarius is the very quirky and inventor sort of mind maybe spirit is also telling you it's time to think outside of the box it's time to come up with a new unique idea that maybe you haven't thought of before and start creating a new future for yourself even if there are mountains even if you feel like you're drowning in your emotions or things are difficult how do you expect to move things forward if you can't take those first steps okay so ultimately um, Scorpio regardless of whether this is about you or your person the biggest message here is as within so without okay you cannot expect someone else to rise up to your level if you're not going to rise up to that level first. So let's get into the tarot and see what spirit wants you to know about what's going through this person's mind. What are they thinking about you? So we have the eight of swords and, you know, keep in mind it did pop up in the reverse. So this could be like a truly, um, torturous mindscape for this person um, this is like being stuck between a rock and a hard place this is a mental prison someone who could potentially um, have a little bit of a victim mentality right but this is to the extreme extent this person sees this as an impossible situation and in their mind they feel like they're trapped so 
being trapped in your own mind, I mean, what a struggle, right? And, and you can see all these crows pulling at all of these different strings, tightening them around her. But, but again, this is all happening in your person's mind. It's a mentality, right? So let's, let's move on. Let's continue. This person feels like they're stuck. So now we have the Empress and the Hanged Man in the reverse. So ultimately, this person is also acutely aware of the fact that you are their divine feminine, Scorpio. You are their Empress, their Queen of all Queens. You're someone who manifests abundance, who is emotionally intelligent, intuitive, communicates effortlessly, okay? and also has the passion and fire within her to create the world of her dreams. They know that this is who you are. This is your potential, okay? So ultimately, that could be something that kind of scares them from moving forward. Like knowing just how great you are keeps them trapped in their mind. But again, this is all that's happening in their mind. So regardless of how you actually feel about yourself right now, this is what they're thinking of you. We next have the emperor, okay? And I'm gonna talk about the emperor before I talk about the hanged man in the reverse because we have counterparts, true divine counterparts here on the board. Emperor and empress, king of all kings, queen of all queens. The emperor is someone who takes control of their life, who takes action in the physical world who takes control of themselves, who doesn't allow fear to control or stop them, who doesn't allow shame to stop them from doing what they truly feel passionate about in life, okay? And I love the fact that he's holding um, the green sphere over his solar plexus where green typically represents the heart chakra the solar plexus represents your willpower your confidence and joining those two chakra systems together is um, a little bit twin flamey okay so if you feel like you're on the twin flame journey and you're seeing the emperor and the empress together and that is your sign then i'll take it too okay i think that's a great sign especially since we've only pulled four cards and you've got the king and queen of the deck all right next the hanged man in the reverse so ultimately I feel like that speaks to what we were talking about this is someone who is avoiding going through enlightenment this is someone who is getting sign after sign after sign from spirit synchronicity after synchronicity okay <laughs> the confirmations are confirmating the signs are signing like, there's no other way to say it, but this person continues to ignore it. They continue to push it aside and dust it under the rug. And again, only you will know, Scorpio, if this is about you or your person, okay? Again, it could be about both of you. But ultimately, Spirit has been trying to show the both of you your divine potential in this world, okay? Showing you who you're meant to be here on the physical plane. So ultimately, when I see the hanged man in the reverse as well, that could also be a sign of someone who is finally releasing themselves from a period of being stuck. So hopefully this is saying that your person has already gone through enlightenment. They've already seen the light of who you are and what you mean to them. And now they're starting to remove themselves from that mentality of like, oh, I can't do anything about it. Or, oh, I can't say anything about it. Or, oh, how am I going to get out of this situation? Okay. So let's get some more. We have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which, you know what, let's talk about it. Five of Swords is conflict and confusion. It's manipulation. It's a one-upmanship sort of an energy. Someone stabbing someone else in the back basically to get what they want and walk away. And you can see here, she looks hurt. She looks betrayed. So this person is also thinking about the fact that maybe they put you in a situation um, that really tore you apart, right? Left you out in the dust, made you feel like you weren't good enough, really messed with your confidence, with your self-esteem, okay? This person knows that. And 
it's like they're unable to ignore it any longer. All right. And again, maybe your person is going to be one of those that gets dragged up and down the street 17 times. Okay. So what else do we need to see about what's going on in this person's mind? Okay. So first of all, we have the four of wands, which is the twin flame card, stability, marriage, union, you can see here she's riding on her horse and he's approaching her. So with the three of cups in the reverse and the four of wands, it's almost like this person is fully aware that you are their twin flame, soulmate, whatever the label is that you feel comfortable with. They know that you're the one, but they're afraid that you're not going to take them back. They're afraid that when they try to reconcile with you, that you might shoot them down. Okay. And again, rightfully so, if they know that they hurt you at some point, if they know they put you in that difficult scenario, then of course that would be an insecurity of theirs, right? No matter how much they feel connected to you, no matter how much they know that you're the one they want to be with. And again, reconcile with, this is a card of reunion. But in the reverse, I feel like this person is afraid. Maybe they know that they can't really be trusted after the way that they treated you, Scorpio. And that could be their fear as well, okay? That you will not want to reconcile with them or that you'll just want to be friends, okay? Which can sometimes be even more painful than not talking to that person at all. So I almost feel like this person, even though they want to be with you, they know that you're their divine counterpart. They're so afraid of being rejected. It's unbearable. Okay. We also have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is past life connection, soulmate connection. They're feeling nostalgic about you, thinking about the past memories. They know that there's a much deeper connection here and they can't shake it, Scorpio. Okay. They want to reconcile. They want to make things right again. So my face is getting all tingly. Like I feel like someone's tickling my face. Ah, and then we have the strength card underneath that. So Leo season could be very transformative for this connection. Um, this could also be them recognizing the need to grow some balls, right? Grow a pair, um, <laughs> like step up to the plate, be courageous, be confident, be bold. So, this person definitely has it within them, right? They have the power within. It's the stepping forward and allowing themselves to be real and authentic without falling back into that negative pattern or negative thinking in that eight of swords energy. Okay. So one more, we have the justice card at the bottom of the deck as well, which tells me that this person, um, could be going through some sort of legal issues right now, or this could be simply saying that your person wants to um, have justice in the situation. They want balance. They want to make things right with you. Um, again, we've got Libra energy coming in. So, and yeah, you know, and it's all about the future for them. They've been waiting a long time. They've been very patient, waiting for their ships to come in, looking over the mountains, waiting for for some sign of a positive new beginning here. A lot of mountains popping up, signifying um, opposition, okay? Opposition, struggle, um, barriers, things in the way, right? Things that are keeping you from this person, whatever that might be. It could be another person. It could be a job. It could be anything, okay? And only you will know. But ultimately, again, this person is looking towards the future. They're waiting for this to manifest. They've been planning behind the scenes. But it's like there's something that needs to happen in order for the next steps to occur. And I think this person knows that they're the ones that need to take those steps, so one last card from the tarot, we have the four of cups. So this is also about a missed opportunity. Your person has not been very satisfied with the way things went down between the two of you in the past. It's like you came along and showed this person what love really is and they ignored that because they were so focused on other things. And now they're left bored and dissatisfied with their life, wondering what a, what a coulda shoulda with you Okay, wondering what life could have been like had they actually accepted that offer from you, 
had they actually shared their own heart with you. But instead of doing that, they, again, they put their focus on other things. So ultimately that's a card of regret to me. All right. Um, you know, regardless of your situation, regardless of this person's excuse for turning you away, they're not happy about their decision now, okay? And they're second guessing themselves. So let's see what Spirit has to say. What is the overall advice here? So we have Inner Alchemy and Blue Star. So Inner Alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So as within, so without, right? You cannot have, you cannot have your ego and love at the same time. They cannot coexist. If you're in your ego, then you are not capable of true love, okay? You cannot experience true love, unconditional love, if you still have your ego lingering around. It's time for you to recognize that you are the alchemist, okay? You are the source. You are love. And just by being in your natural state, you will, by default, drive away any of those fears within you and this person, okay? You need to stay steady within. And then follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul, okay? So again, talking about authenticity, following your soul's path. One more. Surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. Okay? Surrender the outcomes and focus on your next step, Scorpio. Okay? Be present. Life is a gift. That is why they call it the present. All right? Do not focus on the past with this person. Do not get fixated on the future and what could possibly be. Just allow things to unfold and continue to go in the direction that you are pulled in life, okay? Follow your soul. That is what spirit is telling you. So let's find out what this person wants to say to you. I'll be using the Mercury 8 edition by The Pretty Psyche, which I will link her down below. She's awesome. And uh, she's always in the top sellers for her decks. And I will link her shop as well. Um, and I urge you guys to go check her out. Um, she's got a lot of great stuff. And she's only on Instagram as of right now. She used to have a YouTube, but... Um, she actually stopped doing YouTube videos years ago. So anyways, you guys, great deck. I'm really excited. Let's see what your person wants to say. So I need your love, okay? This person now sees that that, that divine cup of love that was offered to them they may have pushed it away, but now they're telling you they actually need it, right? They feel like they need your love in their life. You inspire me a lot. So again, you are the alchemist. You are the inspiration for this person. Continue to shine that light and continue to lead the way for this person, okay? We also have you helped me to know what I need to work on within myself. So yeah, you know, like... That is exactly the purpose of these sort of connections. It's shining the mirror in each other's face and showing ourselves the worst of ourselves, right? And working on those things, growing, healing, expanding. So what else do they want to say? I haven't been happy since we stopped talking. Mm. Okay. I'm so embarrassed over my actions. Yeah, what did I say? This person is afraid that you're going to turn them down. Don't delete your social media accounts. Scorpio, if you have this person blocked, they're probably desperately searching for you right now. Um, people I know lurk your social media for me. What did I say? So if they are blocked, they have their friends lurking you, okay? They have other people trying to see what you're up to because they can't stand the thought of not getting to see you, not getting to know what's going on in your life, okay? What else do we need to see for Scorpio? 
I can't stop desiring you. Yeah. I can't see myself letting you go. Yeah, they're not going to do that, okay? They're definitely not. How could they let go of their empress? That would be a serious mistake. I didn't like how you could see through my trauma, insecurities, etc. So your ability to see through this person made them feel vulnerable and they couldn't take it. Maybe you called this person out, told them like it was, and they just, they didn't even know how to deal. Um, I want to spoil you with gifts. So they definitely want to spend money on you. They want to take you out. Um, they want to lavish you. I brag about you sexually. Yes. Yeah. So whether or not you've actually physically connected with this person, they are definitely bragging about you, about your assets, about being with you. Okay. Your ability to get them off. One more shuffle. I really hope you haven't moved on from me. Yeah, so they hope you're still hanging on, Scorpio. Some of you might be, some of you might not be, okay? Some of you may have already clicked off by now because you're so goddamn tired of hearing about this person. But again, use your discernment, right? Not every single one of you are going to have someone come back into your life that's actually done the work and that's actually ready to be there for you the way you need them to be. So please use your discernment, Um feel out the energy, use your intuition, and you will know what's good for you, okay? So hopefully this reading resonated with someone out there. Um, if it did, don't forget to like the video, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and overall, guys, again, if you feel like this is resonating, feel free to book a personal reading with me. But other than that, um, I hope to see you again in the full moon in Sagittarius reading, as well as the mid-month musical messages and spicy subscriber message. So other than that, you guys, I love you. I hope that you enjoy the rest of Gemini season, and I will be seeing you again real soon. Bye.